Hello and welcome to the second video in a fresh service series on IT Operations Management, or ITOM for short. This time we're looking at the linkages between ITOM and DevOps. As explained in the first ITOM video, there are various ITOM definitions. This variation has a knock-on for everything related to ITOM, including the relationship between ITOM and DevOps. This issue is further complicated when people and organisations have different views of what DevOps is and isn't. Hence, we need to start with a single definition of DevOps. For example, that DevOps is a cultural change for IT that leverages agile and lean practices and a system-oriented approach to speed up IT delivery. It emphasizes people, better collaboration between the development and IT operations teams, automation, and an end-to-end -end perspective of technology delivery. If you watched our first ITOM video, the reference to using automation might seem the most relevant element to begin the linkage of ITOM and DevOps. However, let's consider the origin of the term DevOps. It's a portmanteau of software development, dev, and IT operations, ops. So we can automatically see that ITOM practices and software have a role in enabling a DevOps approach. But this still misses the philosophy of DevOps that starts the earlier definition, plus many other DevOps definitions, that DevOps is a change in IT culture first. So while the ever-improving technology capabilities of ITOM tools might be viewed as the obvious linkage between ITOM and DevOps, IT operations teams potentially have much to learn from DevOps. DevOps is commonly considered to focus on the app dev to deploy cycle. However, organizations can apply DevOps principles to different ITOM areas and capabilities. For example, provisioning, capacity management, availability management, and performance management. If we consider these, it's not only the automation employed by DevOps teams that's relevant to ITOM. The underlying principles of DevOps are too. However, different parties commonly express these principles differently, especially in the terminology used. So here's my variant. First, there's customer centricity. You know, thankfully, we're seeing this more in IT because of the increased focus on value, and I've deliberately put it at the top of my list to emphasize its importance. In ITOM's terms, this is viewing the capabilities of ITOM software as a way of optimizing business operations and outcomes, not simply for managing the IT infrastructure. Second, we've got create with the end in mind. This is very much product and outcome-based thinking, rather than simply focusing on the pieces. In ITOM's terms, it means understanding the business goals that need to be achieved through the effective use of ITOM software. Thirdly, we have collaboration, not just within teams, but also across groups, especially development and operations. In ITOM terms, this can mean alerting both dev and ITSM teams to issues that need either bug fixes or the service desk practice, respectively. Perhaps with the same people responsible for developing and delivering specific products, calling in expert problem management capabilities is needed. Fourthly, we have automation, not just because it's faster and cheaper, but also because it leads to better outcomes. IT pros involved in ITOM likely need no introduction to the benefits of automation. Fifthly, continuing improvement. This was already an ITSM staple, but Agile and Lean Practices also brought this into Dev DevOps, albeit named differently. Item capabilities should also be subject to this improvement focus. Sixthly, database decision making. Quite simply, the better use of data to drive decisions, including improvements across operations, services, experiences, and outcomes. In many ways, this is the essence of ITOM, using data and associated insights to ensure that the business need for technology enablement is consistently met. Seventhly, end-to-end -end responsibility, where teams work together and are fully accountable for an application or service from the cradle to the grave. From an ITOM perspective, this means responsibility for the IT infrastructure and a shared responsibility for delivering fit-for-purpose IT services. And then lastly, treat failure as a learning opportunity, where people are safe and empowered to try new things. This one is a great principle for any part of the organization, including ITOM operations. It allows people to use their expertise and initiative to improve the status quo when the situation will be served better by doing something different. Of course, your organization's ITOM capabilities will help DevOps too, in particular the intelligent automation and analytics capabilities in ITOM tools. Plus, much of IT operations provides a foundation for DevOps and DevOps tools in particular. For example, the availability of a CMDB is constructed and maintained through ITOM discovery and service mapping tools. That's it for this ITOM and DevOps video. In the third video in this ITOM series, I'll talk about AI ops. To be alerted of this and for more ITSM and ITOM content, please subscribe to the Fresh Service YouTube channel. Hopefully we'll see you again soon. Bye.